Welcome to GRTV News. This uh, time we're at, in Stockholm at the GameX Gaming Expo and uh, we're giving you all the latest news from the world of gaming. Last week Kinect launched a uh, world premiere in North America. Uh, Microsoft had rented uh, all of Times Square in New York for this occasion and uh, they're being kind of bullish about things. They are now expecting that they'll sell 5 million units of Kinect worldwide uh, this quarter uh, compared to the previous uh, estimation of, of 3 million so they're feeling really good about their chances. Uh, let's see if they can pull it off. Further news from uh, the same corner of the world, uh, Shadow Complex was a very popular Xbox Live Arcade title that came out last year and uh, the team at Share Entertainment, uh, Epic owned Share Entertainment, have been working on Infinity Blade for iPhone and iPad, but now they're starting to think about ideas for a possible sequel, so maybe we'll see Shadow Complex 2 next year sometime, who knows? We're giving you news that Super Meat Boy won't make it to WiiWare because of the size limitations Nintendo put on WiiWare products. Uh, however, the, the, the boys at Team Meat have uh, Ask their followers on Twitter whether they'd be interested in buying a retail version of the game for about 20 bucks with a few added extras. So, if you still want some meat for your Wii, uh, make sure they hear about it and maybe they can find a publisher to, publisher to pick up the game. It's brilliant. So, let's hope it makes its way to the Wii. Activision have revealed in their latest financial report that uh, they've got a new X-Men game coming next year. No details on the title have been made available, but they also confirmed the new Guitar Hero, a new DJ Hero, and a new Transformers game due out next year. The Transformers game is, is probably based on the next movie in the blockbuster movie saga. PlayStation 3 owners have a bit of uh, exclusive downloadable content for Assassin's Creed Brotherhood to look forward to. Uh, Copernicus Conspiracy is a selection of missions that Xbox 360 and PC owners won't get to play. So the, the, the DLC will be out on launch day and it will be free. So that's a little bit of a bonus for PS3 players uh, to get to play around with. And to round things off, we've got three rumors for you. The first rumor is that Canadian studio Six Land Games, perhaps best known for SOCON Confrontation, are working with Capcom to create a team-based Resident Evil game on PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. Uh, we're not sure what to make of this yet, but reliable sources have told Kotaku that that is in fact the case. And uh, it wouldn't be surprising as Capcom have been farming out a lot of their big franchises to Western developers lately. Uh, not, not the least uh, Dead Rising 2 that was developed in uh, in the same city in Vancouver uh, at uh, Blue Castle Games. The second rumor, or perhaps not a rumor, but Crytek UK, the formerly, no formerly known as Free Radical Design, are shopping around ideas of a new Time Splitters game to different publishers. Uh, they're not quite sure if they want to make a, a, a classic Time Splitters title, if they want to make a completely new original IP, or if they want to reinvent Time Splitters. But since they're basically wrapped up work on the multiplayer component of Crisis 2, uh, they're starting to feel around a bit what, what kind of game they could be working on next. And uh, perhaps we'll see uh, Time Splitters again soon. Rumors are circling that Microsoft have been looking around for a new developer to take over the Project Gotham Racing series uh, that Bizarre Creations, now owned by Activision, used to, used to make. Uh, it, it was presumed that uh, the Forza developers Turn 10 would, would get their turn to do uh, Project Gotham Racing, but apparently as Microsoft have been talking to independent developers, it doesn't look that way and, and, and we're likely to see someone else do the next Project Gotham Racing. Who it is? No idea. When it will be out? No idea, but at least Microsoft are looking into the, to the issue and, and fans of the series are likely to see something happening, developing in the future. That's it from GRTV News this week. See you later.